Hey, good evening. I'm Mary Rolo. Christian Dorsey's life is a case study of capital D Democratic Values in Action and a deep dive into service and engagement in our county. He's implemented these values through his leadership of organizations that serve at-risk youth and created bricks and mortar. Christian has served on the Planning and Tenant Landlord Commissions and on the boards of Housing, Health, and Media Nonprofits. He has exceptional outreach skills. For the last seven years, Christian has crafted messages about fairness for working families, engaging in mic to mic combat on Fox News. Indeed, for the past decade, he has been a go-to choice to moderate forums for a diverse group of Arlington organizations. Christian and I first came together about 15 years ago over affordable housing. We did not see eye to eye about the streetcar, but we talked it through, and you know, it's in the rearview mirror. We need a leader who can communicate, bring us together, and help us move forward. And that would be my loyal and beloved friend, Christian Dorsey. It is one of the great honors of my life to stand here and introduce him. Good evening, everyone. I am Christian Dorsey, no apparent relation to Sharon Dorsey, but we just met tonight, you never know. One of the things in my bio that Mary didn't get a chance to tell you all about is where I came from before I came to Arlington. And I grew up in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and if you've heard anything about Atlantic City in the headlines, you can very well appreciate that Atlantic City has never been known for its effective long-range planning. So one of the things that I deeply appreciate about living in Arlington is the fact that we are an extremely well-planned community. We thoughtfully consider how we're going to grow and how we're going to try to provide opportunity for all who live here. But even in a well-planned community such as Arlington, we still face challenges. And those challenges are immense. And as we think about those challenges, some of them have been foreseeable, some of them have been beyond our control, but all of them require that we give them exceedingly high attention in order to make sure that Arlington realizes its full potential. Now, as I look back at the things that I've done over the years, and Mary gave you a taste of a few, these are not just chapters in a biography. These were formative experiences that allowed me to develop what I think are the right sets of skills and perspectives for this moment in time in Arlington. And if you'll indulge me for just a second, I'll just go over a few. Long ago, uh, during the development boom in Arlington, I was chair of the Tenant Landlord Commission. And during that time, we went about revising the guidelines that govern how tenants and landlords resolve disputes and specifically about what would happen when development would displace tenants. And we had the bold idea that we would try to come up with a way that tenant dislocations need not be permanent. And there was a lot of skepticism that we could come up with such a plan. But by bringing together tenants and landlords who initially thought their odds were so, their points of view were so at odds that there was no way to find constructive agreement, they were able to collaborate and find a solution that was much better than their original points of view could have ever imagined. Now later on, when I was on the board of the Arlington Street People's Assistance Network, you know what is ASPAN. ASPAN had long advocated for a year-round shelter. And, you know, the moral argument for such a shelter is pretty clear. But we were able to really accelerate getting that to reality when we started thinking about not just the moral argument, but the fiscal argument. And explaining that, you know what, if we have a year-round shelter, we're going to reduce hospitalizations in the emergency room. We are going to reduce criminal complaints and we're going to reduce incarcerations. There are a number of ways in which you can save money by doing good. The lesson learned is that progressive values often make very sound fiscal sense. And, uh, and later on, I took a job to develop affordable housing down in the North neighborhood. Some said it was an impossible task. And you know what? We failed. At first, 
But then by keeping at it and keeping at it and realizing that ultimately it wasn't something that I could do alone, that our organization could do alone, what we decided was we needed to find partners. We needed to find people in the faith community, in the business community, in the nonprofit community to help us. Well, as a result, we were able to build a building that had over 36 units of housing available for moderate income people as well as commercial space to help entrepreneurs develop their ideas into viable businesses. Now, I bring up these experiences in the past because as I think about the challenges that Arlington faces, they are very much informing how I want to go about dealing with them. One, if we want to talk about what's really facing Arlingtonians at the moment, we have to be honest. Arlington is a privileged place, but we still have people who are suffering from stagnating wages. Many people in our community are on fixed incomes, and we all deal in a world where we don't have the same access to credit that we had 10 years ago. In short, people don't have the means that they used to. And it means that we have to deliver good government at maximum value, but also come up with innovative ways of making it a little easier for people to go through life. Now I have one such idea on my website that I talk a lot about, and I'll explain it to you in the 30 seconds left that I have. But basically, we can achieve energy efficiency, a goal in our community, and allow people to retrofit their homes at minimal cost to the county, but providing extreme operating benefits to a homeowner or a would-be home buyer. These are just some of the areas that I'd like to provide leadership in bringing to us all so that I as a county board member and you all as active participants in this party and leaders in this community can help us propel the next progressive wage, uh, wave in Arlington. That's something that we all deserve and that's something that I hope to bring to you. Thank you very much for your attention.